Welcome to Media Minutes, I'm Darren Woolley. And I'm Stephen Wright. In the next few minutes, we'll share with you our thoughts on approval timelines and why they matter. Stephen, what are the issues with approval timelines? When I was working in agencies in media, one of the most frustrating questions we used to get from marketers is when is the latest I can provide approval by? Well, Stephen, isn't that a valid question? Sure, it's a valid question, but it's the wrong question. The latest approval deadline invariably delivers the least value. So, Stephen, is there a rule of thumb for timeline? Different media have different lead times, but with every medium, it's the premium environments and the most cost-efficient environments that go first. So does this early advantage apply to media buying alone? Not at all, Darren. The longer you have for planning, the longer you have to study the market, study the competition, challenge the status quo, and find a point of difference for your clients. So, first in best dressed. For both planning and buying, there is a correlation between booking early and value achieved. Absolutely. Marketers need to provide their agencies with the longest possible approval deadlines for media. And the opportunities in doing that extend beyond media. What do you mean by that? The communication marketplace is now more complicated. Agencies are charged with managing activity across the paid, earned, owned and shared spectrum. Locking in your media activity early allows you to coordinate activities better and achieve overall value. Is there a cost implication in booking your media late? Booking late, you can only ever hope to match the value from booking early, and you'll have to invest an enormous amount of time and negotiation skills in delivering. Okay, that's fine for many clients, but what about those clients that can't give approval early? How do they get value and mitigate against having to pay a premium? The key in those instances, Darren, is to plan ahead for booking late, to agree an approach and a strategy with your agency to mitigate any cost implications. So, Stephen, do you recommend with working with the agency? If cancellation deadlines permit, you can always book activity up front and then cancel free of charge when plans change. Are media owners happy with that? Look, media owners would much rather you book activity in with genuine intent. Um, but if you do cancel late, it would be inappropriate to then go and book all of that activity with a direct competitor. In this instance, you need to treat the media owners with some respect. It all seems so obvious. Oh, look, it does indeed. But in the work we do helping agencies and advertisers work more efficiently together, Poor timeline management is the number one issue. Thank you, Stephen. No revelations, mostly common sense, but a useful reminder to marketers on how they can help themselves. Indeed, Darren. Now, for further enlightenment, make sure you subscribe to Media Minutes, a weekly snack of all things media. Until then, I'm Darren Woolley, and he's... Stephen Wright. And this is... Media, media Minutes. Minutes.